Do you know how to commemorate Black History Month in a meaningful way? The CEO of the Black Business and Professional Association, Leanna Hathaway, Hannaway rather, joins us now with some do's and some don'ts because so many people can use this Black History Month as a, oh, we're going to do this for Black History Month. But if, you're, if you don't really have the true meaning behind it, it's gonna fail. Yeah, you know, it's really important to be authentic in our celebrations of Black History Month. And one of the do's that you can do around that is to support black businesses. Mm -hmm. So when you think about the food you have, the entertainment you have, take this as an opportunity to gauge some of the 66,000 black businesses we have across Canada to make it a really meaningful celebration of black history, which is Canadian history as right. well. Right, Canadian, right. We shouldn't just delegate it to, oh, that's your history, because it's all of our history, isn't it? Yes, yes, you know. And when I think about um, another real big do for Black History Month is to really think about any of the diversity, equity, and inclusion goals that you have in your organization. Um, really think about that take this time to reevaluate your progress towards them. Are there promises that you made that now you need to double down on or you need to recommit to? And think about assigning uh, resources to those because diversity, equity, inclusion, those are really stable table stakes for good business mm -hmm. and uh, what it means to be Canadian. Right, and a big don't is don't ask for somebody to come in and be a DEI expert for free. That is a big <laughs> don't, a Annette. That's a don't. That's a big don't, Annette. Yeah. You know, we engage educators all the time and we pay them for their work. So yeah. the work that educators do around black heritage should also be valued and it should be paid. I really think not only organizations should get used to the thought of asking, hey, what's our budget for that? The expectation is that those educators also should be saying to the organizations, hey, what's your budget for that? Right, right, and paying them well. And, and just going by, like, if, if you're going through the consultation, just really taking to heart, and it, it, it should be something that you're not just focusing on, like, you know, one or two times a year. It's got to be every day. Yeah, you know. And it's for everybody. Exactly. It's for all Canadians. All Canadians, we have a really rich history. And although we celebrate Black History or Black Heritage Months for these 28, 29 days that mm -hmm. we have uh, this year, it's really something that we should do all year round, experience that all year round. So Black History 365. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are some other don'ts? Ooh, that's great. You know, what you don't want to do is be performative. You really want to be authentic to right. the expression. And being performative is like maybe posting something on your social media, right? Without, uh, on your organization's uh, social media, without actually having the backup for it. Yeah, yeah. So what you're posting should actually be internal to your organization as well, too. Um, you know, even as this younger generation goes through, they get really good at sourcing out the values of organizations mm -hmm. and they want what's internal to the organization to be on display in what they see in social media. So it's really important not to be performative and to be really authentic in your expressions. Right. You talked about doubling down on the DEI um, and, and tomorrow you've got a big keynote about that. Yeah, I'm gonna be at the Canadian Club of Toronto, a really historic organization, 125 years, and I'm gonna be talking about why, particularly the Canadian economy and Canadian business leaders need to double down on diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. What is good for inclusion, what is good for equity, is good for Canadian business. It increases productivity, increases innovation, helps with retention, and although there are current sentiments that suggest that we should back away for this or we should be silent about it, I actually think this is the time to double down on DEI. Okay, and how do you double down on that? Ooh, there's like a lot. How, how could a business do that or an organization? You know, I really do think it's about setting the tone at the top. Yeah. It's about leadership, who's engaged in these stories and really embedding that throughout the organization. Uh, having actionable measures that are tied to strategy um, organizations is one way that we can really double down on, on um, DEI. And right. the results pay off, the results right. pay off. Have you been encouraged by the changes that you've seen in the last little while? Ooh, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, when we think about, you know, what has happened since uh, the murder of George Floyd mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of changes that have been, and organizations have said that they've made, um, in some ways it's encouraging, but I do think there's a lot of work to do. 
Um, for example, signatories to the Black North Initiative have actually been companies that have been doing better. Yeah. So I think I'm encouraged by folks who are taking the step forward and um, not ignoring the other folks who, who also need to come along for the ride. Yeah, yeah, so call out others if, if, you're, if you're doing your work and yeah. Okay. Call out and call them in, yeah. call them in. Oh, that's a good one, okay. Lots of great information and we'll get all your socials up on our website, chch.com slash morning live. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank you for having me.